Hey, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to find the surface area of different types of prisms. So today we're going to start with this just rectangular prism. We're going to do a trapezoidal prism and then we're going to look at a triangular prism. So those are the three we're going to concentrate on today. So let's start with this first one. So we have a rectangular prism, meaning the base is a rectangle. So what I've done is I've drawn it on a separate sheet so that we can kind of take one at a time. So here's our first shape. So here's our rectangular prism. What I like to do is figure out how many sides it has. Well, it has a top and a bottom, so that's two, left, right side, that's three, four, and a front and a back, five, six. So we have six sides. And then I like to lay it out as if we've cut it apart. So there's the bottom as I'm looking straight down on it, and it's got a flap here, it's got a flap here, it's got a side and a side, and then we can't forget about the top. We're right on top, okay? So this is as if we folded it out. Well, this dimension right here is 10, okay? This dimension right here is eight, and the height is three. So I'm gonna label all the sides. Now, to label them, I'm gonna look at what's parallel to it. So this is eight, well, that one's eight. Okay, this one's three, that one's three. This one's 10, this one's 10. This one's also 10. This one's three, because that's your height. That one's three. This one's eight. This one's three, this one's 10. And this one is the top flap, so it's actually eight, because it would flip over and lay on top, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at all these rectangles. So let's start on this left side. This is a rectangle and its base is three and its height is eight. So that has an area of 24 square units. Well, it has a match on this side, the side that would flap up. So this side is also 24 unit, uh, square units. Now, the top of it, or this, the side that is the back side right here, that's the back side, well, that's this side, and it's 10 by eight, so that's 80 square units. And then it has a match that's the front side because it's the same size, and it is, whoops, that's not 80, that's 10 by three, sorry, that's 30 square units, and it's got a match on the front side, which is also 30 square units. Now, the very bottom down here and the very top, they also match. So the bottom is eight by 10, that's the one that's 80, and the top of it is right here, and it's 80. So now you can see we have two sides of 24, two sides of 30 and two sides of 80. So let's just add that up. 24 and 24 is 48, 30 and 30, that's 60, and 80 and 80, that's 160. So now let's all add all this up. So that's 108 plus 160, that is 268 square units. And that is how you find the surface area. So in this one, some people like to just look at the matching parts, find this side and then just double it, find the base and double it and find the front and the back, front or the back and just double it because we know there are two of each of those on a rectangular prism. So that's how you do the rectangular prism. Now let's go to the more challenging ones. Okay, let's look at this trapezoid. So this is the original picture. Make sure you can see it. This is the original picture. Okay, it's not, there's not enough room on this worksheet, so I've drawn it on a separate sheet. But again, it's got six faces. It's got a left and a right side, the slanted parts here, and they both match. Then we have a trapezoidal front and a trapezoidal back. And then we have a small rectangular top and a larger rectangular bottom. So we, we're gonna have to break it up and lay it out as a net. So let's, here's our figure. So I'm gonna start with the base. Well, the bottom of it is the part right down here, okay? And it's five on one side and it's 10 on the other, okay? And it doesn't have a match because the top of it is smaller. So you can see the top is not 10, the top is only two. So let's look at the top of it. The top is two, but then this side is still five. So that one's two by five. Now, this left side and this right side, this, the ones that are kind of slanted, let's draw those, okay? 
it's two on top and it is that's actually a rectangle it's two on top and it's five on the bottom and the other side matches it it's two on the top and it's five on the bottom I'm sorry two two deep no that's the different dimension excuse me this one sorry I don't need that dimension I need this to be seven so the height is seven and the base is five so the height is seven and the base is five on the two ends down here and then I have a trapezoidal front and the trapezoidal back so let's draw the trapezoid over here so the trapezoid is 10 on the base but only two on the top but then we need to know the height well the height is given to us as three okay and then we have two of those two matching parts a front and a back that are 10 on the top bottom two on the top and a height of three okay so the only ones that are actually different sizes are the big base at the bottom and the smaller base on top but the sides they both are the same and the front and the back are both the same so let's define the area of each of these six sides and then we're going to add them up so now it's just a rectangle five by ten that one's fifty two by five that one's ten seven by five that one's thirty five and another 35 for the other side so that's my left and my right okay now let's do the front and the back trapezoids you need to know the area of a trapezoid well that is one half the height times b1 plus b2 so let's find plug in what we know one half the height is three and you're going to add your bases together so two is the top base and ten is your small base so let's multiply this together right here this is going to be we add first uh, PEMDAS tells us to add so that's 12 12 times 3 is 36 so what's half of 36 18 so that is the area of this top base or trapezoid and this bottom trapezoid. so we have both of those are 18 now let's take all six and let's add them up so I have 50 plus 10 so the top and the bottom are 60 and then I have 35 and 35 so the left and the right are 70 and then these are 18 and 18 for the trapezoids and that gives me 36 so that's together that's 106 plus another 60 so that's 166 square units and that's how you do the trapezoid that one by far is, is a little trickier but just look at the each face and we'll add those up okay the last shape we're going to look at is a prism with a triangular base so again we have let's count how many faces we have we have a top and a bottom that's two this side on the left that's three this side on the right is four and then we have a rectangle on the back so this one only has five faces so that's a little bit different so again i've drawn this on a separate sheets to kind of give us some room to draw our what we call nets okay the top and the bottom those are both right triangles so let's draw it this way here's a right triangle and we know the two legs of that isosceles right triangle are both four okay and then we have two of those a top and a bottom okay now let's do this side face right here well this is four by eight so let's draw a rectangle over here four by eight and I have two of those because I have another one on this side four by eight so there's four by eight so there's one two three four of my five faces I have top bottom left right I need this one right here so let's draw that one okay we know the height is eight but we don't know this dimension hmm so let's go back what dimension is it on this base what's the hypotenuse so we're going to have to find the length of that hypotenuse so we're going to use Pythagorean theorem where we have 4 squared plus 4 squared equals c squared or a squared 
plus b squared equals c squared. So a squared plus b squared, they both add to, or they, they multiply to 15, 16 is 16. So let's add that to 32. So we're going to have to find the square root of 32. So grab your calculator and let's find the square root of 32. And that's going to be 5.66. So we'll round it to two decimal places. And that's the length of our hypotenuse. Now let's take that and label it over here. That is 5.66. Now we can find the area of each shape. So we have triangles. So 1 half base times height. So the base is 4 and the height is 4. So 4 times 4 is 16, and then half of 16 is 8. So this triangle is 8. Well, that means this triangle is 8. So there are areas. Okay, let's look at the, the two sides here. 4 by 8, that's 32, and this one's 32. Okay, and now let's go to that last side, which is that big side on that far side. And it's 8 by 5.6. So I'm going to use my calculator, uh, 5.66 times 8. So the area of that side is 45.28. And that's my fifth side. So now let's add up all five sides. 8 plus 8 plus 32 plus 32 plus 45.28. I'm going to kind of group these. We know 8 and 32, that's 40. And 8 and 32, that's another 40. So those add to 80. 80 plus 45.28 is going to be what? Uh, 0.28, 5, 1, 25, 0.28. And that's how you find it. And these are always in square units. I should have added my units to all the problems. But those are going to be in square units. So that's how you find the surface area for all those shapes. The best strategy is to take the shape, whatever shape it is, pick whichever one. You wanna draw it so you have a net, a picture of each side, and then you wanna label each side, find the area of each piece, and then add them all up. So for example, this one, I call this a tent, because it looks like a tent, okay? It's got one, two, three, four, five sides. Okay, so you're going to draw five different shapes, find the area of the triangles, area of the two rectangles on the sides, and then the rectangular base will be slightly different. So that's how you do these. Uh, good luck. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and subscribe to Moo Moo Math.